Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm sharing an easy and healthy quinoa recipe, which is a great meal idea for lunch or dinner. This is one of my favorite meal and it's super delicious, healthy and filling. This is somewhat similar to curd rice. Well, in this case, I substituted the rice with quinoa. So let's call this curd quinoa or yogurt quinoa. When it comes to cooking a meal for lunch or dinner, this lazy meal is my current favorite. So let's get started. Now into a bowl, I've already added one cup of cooked quinoa. Into that, I'm adding in about four to five tablespoon of low fat homemade curd or yogurt, one fourth teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. I've already added salt while cooking quinoa. If you want to know more about quinoa and how to cook it, please check the links below below in the description box. Okay, now mix the curd and quinoa well and keep it aside. Now to make the tadka or seasoning, I'm heating a cast iron pan with the one teaspoon gingerly oil, which is also known as sesame oil or nallana in Malayalam. And once the oil is heated, I'm adding in one fourth cup of raw peanuts. And now put the flame on the lowest and lightly roast the peanuts, stirring it on and off. Once it starts to turn brown and is lightly roasted, add in a fat pinch of pink Himalayan salt and mix well so that the peanuts are lightly coated with the salt. Now once the peanuts are roasted, transfer it to a plate. Into the same pan, add in 1 fourth cup of puri kadala or puttu kadala and stir and lightly roast it on low flame in the residue oil. Once it is roasted, sprinkle in salt and stir for a minute and then remove to a plate and keep it aside. Now into the same cast iron pan, add in 1 teaspoon gingerly oil and once it is heated, add in half teaspoon mustard seeds and once it starts to splutter, add in half teaspoon fenugreek seeds, 1 fourth inch of chopped ginger, 2 finely chopped green chilies, 1 sprig of curry leaves and 2 whole red chilies which I had broken into 2 or 3 and on low flame mix it well for about a minute or 2. I actually forgot to add in the urat dal and the chana dal earlier so I am adding in 1 teaspoon urad dal and 1 teaspoon chana dal. You, you can add this right after the mustard seeds when you make it. Okay, now mix it very well and once the dals are roasted, add in 1 fourth teaspoon kayam which is also known as hing or as a foetida. Mix lightly and then switch off the flame. And now allow this to cool down a little. Now into the quinoa and curd, add in the roasted peanuts and porikadala. Give it a mix and then add in the fried ingredients. Mix well and if you feel the quinoa is slightly thick, you can add in another tablespoon or two of curd to thin it out. I like to add in pomegranate seed for a light crunch. I used pomegranate seeds because it is in season now. Feel free to use the fruits of your choice. Sprinkle in 1 fourth teaspoon black pepper powder and mix again. And if you follow my recipes, you may have noticed that I simply love moringa leaves. So I'm adding in 2 to 3 sprigs of fresh moringa leaves. I'm just simply tearing it and adding it. Now instead of moringa leaves, you can add curry leaves or coriander leaves or even mint leaves. If you want to know more about the health benefits of moringa, Please do check the description box below. Now I like to transfer this to a serving bowl and sprinkle some old pomegranate seeds on top. Finally, I like to sprinkle in some chopped coriander leaves. And my healthy and filling yogurt quinoa bowl is ready to serve. Enjoy this as a meal for lunch or dinner. Oil free healthy quinoa salad recipe for weight loss. The healthy fats in this salad helps to make it oil free and a perfect filling vegan meal for lunch or for dinner. This salad is ideal to carry to work as a lunchbox meal. I have already shared how to cook fluffy and non-sticky quinoa in the pressure cooker. Links will be updated below this video so please do check it out before making this salad. Quinoa is protein rich and contains all the nine essential amino acids. Quinoa is rich in fiber iron, magnesium and manganese. 
it is gluten free so if you are trying to reduce gluten in your diet then do include quinoa in your diet the protein and fiber in quinoa helps to keep you satiated for a longer time and hence it's perfect for weight loss now to make this salad into a bowl add in half cup boiled and salted rajma also known as red kidney beans now i soaked the rajma overnight and then pressure cooked it with some salt add in 1/4 cup cooked and salted quinoa i cooked the quinoa in the pressure cooker recipe link will be updated below this video so please do check it out add in two medium sized cucumber chopped one medium sized onion chopped one green chili chopped you can increase or decrease green chili to suit your taste two small carrots sliced or you can use grated carrots one medium sized tomato chopped pink himalayan salt as needed Remember there is already salt in the cooked rajma and quinoa so add salt accordingly 2 to 3 sprigs of mint leaves which i am tearing and adding in now you can use coriander leaves instead of mint leaves i had some garden fresh mint leaves at hand hence i used them a sprig of curry leaves for that extra iron and folate and in 1/3 teaspoon roasted jeera powder also known as cumin powder Four cloves of garlic sliced, one tablespoon apple cider vinegar, and guys always make sure that you use the apple cider vinegar which has the mother. Now since I'm not using any oil in this recipe, I'm using four to five cashew nuts for that extra healthy fats. Or you can use two teaspoon of my vegan and oil-free mayonnaise as a dressing. Now I'm using cashew nuts for that extra crunch. So I'm just breaking it into small pieces and instead of cashew nuts you can also use roasted peanuts walnuts or any nut of your choice but make sure you use them for that extra healthy fats which will help to assimilate the vitamins and minerals in the salad faster into your body so do not skip adding some healthy fats in the salad now squeeze in half a lemon and now mix the salad very well and once it is nicely mixed transfer the salad to a serving bowl and lastly sprinkle in 2 teaspoon roasted sesame seeds for that extra healthy fats and essential nutrients it will also help to balance hormones boost fat burning lowers cholesterol levels reduces blood pressure levels fights cancer cell growth and enhance nutrient absorption sesame seeds are a good source of protein fiber minerals like copper manganese and calcium it is also rich in iron so if you have iron deficiency anemia include them in your diet enjoy this filling nutrient dense and oil free salad as a meal for lunch or for dinner To make quinoa kichdi, first I'm soaking one fourth cup of quinoa. I'm also soaking one fourth cup of moong dal. I'm going to keep this soaked for at least ten minutes. Quinoa has a naturally occurring coating called saponin, which actually makes the quinoa slightly bitter. So you need to soak the quinoa and then rinse it thoroughly two to three times in water. If you don't do this step your kichdi will taste slightly bitter so make sure that when you're using quinoa you soak the quinoa and then rinse it thoroughly before cooking So once I have rinsed the quinoa I have kept it on a strainer so that the water drains off a little now I'm going to repeat the same thing with the moong dal I'm going to keep this on the strainer now once the cooker is heated add in 1 teaspoon desi ghee and once the ghee is heated add in half teaspoon cumin seeds now put the flame on the lowest and then add in four red chilies which i am breaking into two pieces add in a sprig of curry leaves just give this a mix and then add in the strained moong dal and quinoa now give this a mix add in half teaspoon turmeric powder 1/4 teaspoon cayam which is also known as hing 1 teaspoon pink himalayan salt again give this all a nice mix 
Lightly roasting the quinoa along with dal will give this khichdi a nice flavor. And now add in 2 cups of water. Put the flame on the highest and bring this to a boil. Once it starts to boil, cover the cooker. And after the first whistle, put the flame on the lowest for about 5 minutes and then turn off the heat. Keep it on the lowest flame for 5 minutes. Now let's make a topping for the khichdi. And for that into a bowl, I'm adding in one medium sized grated carrot, one chopped green chilli, a tablespoon of chopped coriander leaves, one eighth teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, Squeeze in half a lemon. Give this all a mix. Now let's open the cooker. The kitchen is perfectly cooked and it's of the right consistency. Now serve this immediately to a bowl. Just before serving, place half of the carrot mix on top of the quinoa. And sprinkle some more coriander leaves. And my quick and easy and healthy gluten free quinoa khichdi is ready to serve. Do try this recipe and let me know how this turned out. If you like to see more such healthy recipes, please give a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button so that you can stay updated when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye bye.